asking a question from uh, set one from this year's gate 2019 and uh, this question was asked on compliance theory I don't know why IIT Madras asked a question on compliance theory because uh, most of the students generally don't study this theory in BTEC uh, maybe they were thinking that no student should get 100 out of 100 in gate and that is why they asked a question from compliance theory so let us see uh, what the question was the question is that in a UTM experiment a sample length 100 mm was loaded in tension until failure the failure load was 40 kN the displacement measured using the cross head motion this is the cross head okay uh, at failure was 15 mm the compliance of the UTM is constant and is given by this value the strain at failure in the sample is in percentage okay so this is a schematic diagram of uh, UTM and this is cross head and this is where the sample is held okay so this cross head is adjustable and it moves so when a strain gauge can't be used to measure the value of strain uh, this cross head adjustable cross head can be used to measure the value but what this cross head does it actually takes the strain of machine into account also okay yes the strain of machine that implies the machine also deforms along with the material so the displacement values calculated by this cross head are actually calibrated by taking the compliance of machine into account okay so what we have understood that this cross head it actually measures the strain of machine and the material okay and these values are calibrated by taking the compliance of machine this is machine into account okay now let me tell you what actually compliance is compliance is is the inverse of spring stiffness compliance is inverse of spring stiffness and spring stiffness you know that spring stiffness spring stiffness is p by delta and compliance is inverse of spring stiffness so this will be delta upon p okay now where does this this definition comes from okay so according to compliance theory this is uh, these are the grips of the UTM and the specimen is held here okay so what it states that this system is equivalent to two springs connected in series okay because the machine is also deforming and the material is also deforming so this system the theory says that this system can be considered equivalent to two springs in series okay and the load given is 40 kN so if the springs are in series that implies the load on each spring will be equal to 40 kN which is given 40 kN okay and according to this theory when the springs are in series and the compliance is inverse of spring stiffness that implies compliance of this total system is equal to compliance of machine plus compliance of material this is just an idea about compliance theory okay so this is how we get this relation so now uh, compliance of UTM is given that implies compliance of machine is given compliance of machine is given as 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 meter per Newton okay take care of the units meter per Newton and compliance of system will be Delta system that is displacement of machine plus material okay so delta system upon p that is load and this will be same because i have i have explained that they can be considered 
two springs in series okay plus compliance of material this will be displacement i mean deformation in material upon load okay now we have to find the strain at failure in the sample so that implies we have to find this delta material that is how we will be getting the strain in the material let me remove this portion oh okay this figure will also be removed so now uh, we have delta system okay now in the question it's given that displacement measured using the crosshead motion at failure was 15 mm so that implies this 15 mm is delta system okay because i told you that cross crosshead measure the deformation of machine as well as the material so delta system is 15 mm okay 15 into 10 to the minus 3 okay upon p this will be the compliance of the system that will be 40 into 10 to the power 3 so the compliance of system comes out to be the value comes out to be 3.75 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 minus 7 meter per meter okay now we have compliance of system we have compliance of machine i can find out compliance of material compliance of material which will be uh, 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 7 minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay and its value will be 3.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 okay and this compliance of material will be equal to delta material upon p p is 40 kN so the deformation in the material will be 3.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 into 40 kN that means 40 into 10 to the power 3 okay so this will be in meters and it will be i guess it will be 0. Point, yeah 0. 0.013 meters delta and what is strain strain is delta material upon l this is material okay and l is 0. 0.1 meters this is 0. 0.00 0, sorry 0. 0.013 meters so strain will be 0 0.13 and in percentage it will be 13 percent so this will be the answer 13 percent and i guess the range of this question given by iit is 12 to 14 percent so this is the answer and this is a brief uh, description of the compliance theory uh, this description was given so that we can attempt the questions in the upcoming gate examination if IIT again asks the question on compliance theory.